Welcome everyone, Kwasin here with the discussion about eldering mouse and keyboard controls and what I feel should be changed in order to improve the situation, if not vastly improve the situation with mouse and keyboard. There's a bunch of things and it's not just limited to controls, the key bindings, the mouse acceleration, it's also uh, the UI that could also be improved to uh, function better with mouse and keyboard than it does with the controller. So. Uh, a couple of things to to talk about when it comes to it. Going uh, going to the key bindings option, what we really need here are a bunch of key binds or an entire section of key binds over here for certain actions that require uh, key combinations. Also, I have every key that you can use basically should be something you can rebind because there are some things that are not uh, there. So for instance, if I press escape, I have the pouch here. But how do I use things in the pouch? Well, I have to use my, going to system, key bindings. I have to use my event action key, hold it down, and then this will bring out the pouch. And with the pouch, uh, it depends on the binds that, uh, that I've set up. So for instance, the one at the top is set to one, in my case. Uh, the one at the bottom is set to two, and the ones on the side are set to Z and uh, and C, uh, respectively. So, for instance, my mount is, uh, I have to hold down R, Z in order to summon it. And this is not something I can change. Like, the key, uh, this, this might seem very awkward, but the reason it's set up like that, if I look at my keybinds, the reason that's happening is because I've sent my event action to R, and I've switched my right hand armament to Z. And so the combination is like R holding down the event action along with the switch armament keys. That's what uh, your pouch keybinds are. And that's something you should be able to switch on the fly, I feel, uh, in order to, uh, to control, uh, control it uh, better. Another thing that would be great is uh, a, a toggle walkie. Like the way walking works right now, and it is a bit uh, awkward as things are, uh, but the way walking works right now is you have to hold down Alt, or you have a key, you go to keybinds, by default it's gonna set to Alt at movement control. You have to hold it down if you're going to, to walk. One of the things that would be nice would be to have a walk toggle, because the problem when I'm doing this is I, uh, and I'm moving, I don't have camera control. Like when I'm walking, maybe I wanna uh, move the camera around, uh, with, around my character when I'm doing that. Uh, so I, it would be nice to have some uh, some kind of toggle. Anyway, because when I'm moving normally, like WSND, and I move the camera around, I can do that. But if I have to hold down Alt as well, it just gets janky real quickly. But walking is not necessarily uh, too important. And so those are some of the things that uh, I would personally change when it comes to these key binds. Another thing, is have keys for switching to two-hand mode. So how do you switch to two-hand mode? You have to press R, the event action, and your and your attack uh, button, your uh, your left-hand attack button. So for instance, in my case, I hold down R, I press the left mouse button, and I switch to two-handed on my weapon. Um, now, if I want to uh, switch uh, the shield, I have to like basically it's the attack button or the button for that particular slot uh, it's event action with the button for that particular slot that's what allows you to use two-handed um, in Dark Souls 3 we had a key to be able to switch we used alt uh, for that and we used movement control was set to control uh, by the, by default uh, so that is a bit janky like it's it's baffling to see a game that actually doesn't even have the options in terms of controls that even Dark Souls 1 had, I believe, initially for all the mouse issues uh, that Dark Souls 1 had. Like in some, in that respect at least, this is actually worse because there are certain things that require key combinations and you can't just press a single key uh, that would, uh, would allow you to do that. And on top of that, like just set these key binds up properly. Like I had to set these up myself because the default key binds are pretty fucking awful. And this is not just something that applies to this game. It's also something that I would apply to The Witcher 3 
It's not something I would apply to, say, God of War or Jedi Fallen Order, believe it or not. J God of War and Jedi Fallen Order have much more sensical keybind setups by default. Are there some things I had to change in those games? Absolutely. But I didn't have to change... But I was changing, like, one or two things. In this, I had to change about half of these keybinds, or if not more. Like, the, move, don't, the things that I kept are the movement controls, okay? Uh, but I switched armament keys, I switched the attack key, and I switched the attack keys. I, I had to say, change quite a few keybinds in order to make this game work properly. So that's one of the thing, That's another thing that I feel uh, should change when it comes to the controls. Another thing is the, the UI here on the bottom left side, as well as the UI with the pouch. So what do I mean by that? Uh, by the way, this menu, like if I press escape here, right? It's like, if I want to close it, it shouldn't be Q, it should be escape. Now, escape does work in this menu. It doesn't necessarily work in every situation. Or enter should be also a key that does function. Like, escape does work, it's just not something the prompts tell you. It's like, oh, Q, because apparently mouse and keyboard are the same as controller. But UI-wise, what would be good to have is to have uh, bars, yes, bars, for, for all the slots, for all the equipment slots. So we ha would have a bar with all the weapons, highlighting the one we are currently equipped, a bar with uh, all of the, a bar with all of the, uh, and a bar with all the equipment, as well as the things in the pouch. Or just remove the pouch, just have a bar where we'd have equipment. And if we press a certain key bind, we use that equipment instead of having to do this or scrolling for it. Now, would this give people with mouse and keyboard an advantage over people with controller? Yes, but that's the thing. Stop, hand, uh, st uh, stop um, handicapping play players with mouse and keyboard because you don't want them to have an unfair advantage, quote unquote, versus people who are using a controller. Don't do that, especially in a day and age when people can use mouse and keyboard on a fucking console. Like, if people want to be competitive in this game, if they really care about it, then yeah, play with the mouse and keyboard because it's it's a better option or should be a better option, or it has pros and cons anyway. But if I but with mouse and keyboard, it doesn't make sense to have to uh, toggle. Like for instance, here I'm switching between the flash and lone wolf ashes, and if I want to use it, I have to switch there and then use it. That can be janky as all hell during the middle of a fight. Just allow me to have individual keybinds for all of these. Like I had over 30, 40 keybinds when playing World of Warcraft. There are enough keys on the keyboard to allow us to use anything in this or to have uh, quick bars so we can use it, not just having to constantly toggle between spells and consumables. And then there's the pouch. Having to hold down R uh, to be able to say uh, RZ, for instance, because th that's the way it's set up. Like, I just removed the pouch completely, allow people to uh, put these things on a quick bar. Like, you can put these things on in your equipment slots. Like, you don't have to put them in the, in the pouch. Like, for instance, I could put my mount over here and select it for that. Like, just a sw a swap for that. But the thing is, I want... Like, the developers understood... Like, the pouch is like a... Is something like you can use on the fly. Like, that's the whole point of the pouch. Because they understood... Yeah, people are going to want to mount on their hose. They're not going to want to do this. Like, they're not going to want to... Let's say I put the mount there. They're not going to be like this. And then it's like, oh, their horse dies in common. They're not going to want to switch to this. Use it. Then switch back to this. While in the middle of a hectic boss fight. They're going to want to be able uh, to uh, to switch uh, things. Or to use things very quickly. And that's something the developers... Uh, actually understood. I think that's the reason they created the pouch in the first place. But as a PC player, I would just like that kind of flexibility. I think it makes sense on PC. And I wish uh, developers start stop treating mouse and keyboard as if they're in some way of controller. Like, oh, you have to do a key combination. If I'm doing a key combination, it's not because um, the UI requires it. Like in a game like World of Warcraft, for instance, the reason I do key combinations there is to get more binds. So I use one, two, three, and four, and five. Five is a bit to dif more difficult to reach. But then I use Alt one, two, and three, four, five, and then Control Alt uh, one, two, and three, and five, and all that. And then there's the F keys: F one, F two, F three, F four, as well. 
uh, possibilities. Then there's sign mouse buttons. There's a numpad. There's a lot of binds we have a available for us on on a mouse and keyboard. And then there's obviously the people that do have one of the uh, have a mouse with a, bu a bunch more buttons. I personally only have two. I'm not interested in a mouse that has a lot more buttons, but obviously that's also an advantage and it should be an advantage for you to be able to have more binds on that. Or there's people with keyboards that have more buttons on the macro buttons and all the, all the that like all good, ver all very good equipment that should, that game should allow you to utilize. But no, this is what we get. We get key combinations, we have to scroll through menus, bad menus that clearly were not designed for mouse and keyboard, and we get a subpar experience. That's what I do in mouse and keyboard. Now, right now, despite that, I, I've said that before and I'll say it again, mouse and keyboard can be better in control. I wouldn't say it's not necessarily so because of the mouse sensitivity issues, but if there's something that needs to be fixed ASAP in this game, it absolutely is the mouse sensitivity. It's fine for the most part on foot right now, but they, uh, after, after the band-aid fix, but the problem is it's too fast in the menus and it's way too fast on a horse. So horse control is absolutely, like I don't have a problem and I didn't even have a problem from the start controlling my character with mouse and keyboard on foot. I do have a problem controlling uh, my character on a horse so that's that's the first thing they need to do and then yeah add more keybind options ui options probably out of the question but i'm just talking here in the hypothetical like if i was designing a game like this what would i change uh in order to sue mouse and keyboard better that's what i do make the ui so you have all these items available for the press of the key like for instance one like i'd have let's say six items or five items one two three and four and five right I'd put that on key binds. And then numpad keys, uh, combinations of alt, one, two, and three, four, five, all that. Instead of this like weird RZ, combina RZ combination, or R left click to switch to two-handed, or R shift, in my case, to switch to two-handed shield. That's Those are the kind of things I would personally change when it comes to Elden Ring. And souls like games in general. Of course, you're signing out, don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications, and stay tuned for more.